Russia calls them fascists, Ukrainian nationalists call them heroes. This is the training ground of the right sector militia. The right sector was a violent but instrumental part of the protests which ousted President Viktor Yanukovych in February. The Ukrainian interim government later labelled them an illegally armed group and forced them from their headquarters in the capital Kiev. That's when they came here. At the moment there are 60 recruits here, another 80 who have finished training are already taking part in military operations. In the east about 150 people have been sent from our training camps. This former soldier turned right sector commander told me his troops are working alongside the Ukrainian military in the east. He says they work under the right sector's command structure but coordinate with the government. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is just a small part of what these recruits will go through in their month-long training. We're told that the Ukrainian army doesn't supply any weapons, but those recruits who join with their own weapons will be allowed to use them. But in the capital, Kiev, Right Sector co-founder Andrei Tarasenko told us a different story. He says the group has been telling the government for months to set up self-defence units in the east and is now receiving supplies. Now they run and tell us we will give you weapons, but we talked about it two months ago. There used to be fewer Russian troops and they could have been expelled in one week if they did what we asked them to do. The right sector training ground is on a former Ukrainian military base and was given to them to use. Officially though, the government denies working with the group. The right sector is not in the east. There are no Bandera people, nobody sent from Lviv or Kiev. We are not going to send them there to fight with local groups. Right sector leaders admit they are not an official part of the National Guard, but say talks are underway. The group's leader is also rejecting calls the right sector is fascist. You can see for yourself, judging by our actions. First, the press secretary of the right sector is Russian. He's from Moscow. He holds a Russian passport. The head of the right sector's information department is a Jew from Kiev. Pro-Russian separatists disagree and say the right sector's involvement in the East is proof the government is bent on repression. Recruits, though, continue to stream in as both sides fight what they see as a war for independence. Kim Vanell, Al Jazeera, Desna.